that high jump. Uh, kudu, nice group of kudu here. Some females, but I'd like to show you this beautiful. Let's see, he's just behind this bush. Very interested in these females. These females have been running around trying to get away from this male. Let me try to roll forward a little bit more. One of my favorite antelope, but this is a beautiful male. But he keeps dodging in and out of the bush. The kudu like these thick areas. There he is. Oh, have a look here. Yeah, it looks like he. He might try and mate with her. Let's see. Could be interesting. Oh, he's doing that Fleming um, behavior that we know about. So he's basically testing the urine of the female. And they've got something known as a Jacobson's organ at the back of their palate so they taste that urine they push it on the back of their palate and that allows them to tell whether or not those females are actually in estrus and if it's worth mating so that's what this male kudu is doing at the moment look how thick his neck is this is a really great specimen very muscular neck. Obviously it has to be quite muscular to carry those heavy horns around. You see he's, he's put some mud on those horns. Now they do that and they do this horn thrashing um, all for dominance. So he wants to make his horns look a lot thicker, a lot bigger. That's one of the theories why they thrash their horns in, in the mud like that. Also make them a bit stronger if they are potentially going to fight against other males thick mud might make them a bit heavier and um, and then the horn thrashing also dominance display I think he's trying to display a little bit for these females Bobby, yes, you can definitely determine the kudu's age by length of the horns. Um, again, it's always difficult to, to age these animals. I would say this kudu is probably around 10 or 12 years old. Um, and the kudu, the male kudu, actually live... Um, well, they, they live for a, a, a little less... Then the, then the females, the females live longer. So the females will live to about, I think it's 14 or 16. And male could do apparently 12 or 13. So they don't live as long. And I think it's maybe got to do with competition. We don't really know why the male could do don't live as long as the females. Are Laura Moore, um, no, there isn't a, a lot of blood supply into the horns. So those horns are basically keratin or, um, or keratin and hair. So very similar to, to what our fingernails are made up of. They do grow throughout their lifetime. Um, you'll see some of the older kudu especially, they get these very, um, very prominent white tips to the horn. And he's got, hasn't quite got the the white tip just yet but that is usually a sign of age but those horns at the base there are will be a bone like protrusion slightly come off the skull and then um, and that obviously has blood supply but then uh, but then the actual sheath of the horn growing up um, there's no blood supply further up at all <laughs> 